Hello, my name is Suzanne Gray and I'm the Dementia Nurse Consultant for NHS Tayside and I'm delighted that the Dementia Services Development Centre have asked me to talk about what information is helpful for carers and family members of people with dementia who are admitted to hospital. It's an important topic as at any one time one in four hospital beds will be occupied by someone living with dementia. We know that being in hospital can be incredibly stressful and can lead to people experiencing increased confusion and a reduction in how able they are to look after themselves in comparison to how they did previously. So if hospital admission can be avoided at all, it is better to try to treat the person at home if that's possible. However, sometimes hospital admission is unavoidable. If your family member or friend is admitted to hospital, there are a number of steps you can take to make the stay as smooth as possible. Providing as much information to staff about the person's preferences about care is one. For instance, what they take in their coffee, who or what's important to them, what name they like to be called. If your family member or friend have a getting to know me document already in place, please make sure it goes with the person into hospital. If you don't have one, please ask a member of staff in the hospital to provide one for you to complete. The form has different sections where you can communicate information about the person, such as their employment history, the important people in their life, pets, interests or hobbies, and this information can really help staff provide a more person-centred care approach. It's also helpful to ensure the staff know if and when you can be contacted, just in case the person becomes upset. It's up to you and the person as to how involved you wish to be in their care. We know that people with dementia often have longer stays in hospital than people without dementia and can lose some of their skills, which makes it more difficult to be supported to live at home. So if you can visit regularly and help the person take part in appropriate activities, that would be super, such as a visit to the shop, reading a paper together or chair exercises if appropriate. Make sure the staff know what the person's previous abilities were before they come into hospital so they can be supported to, to maintain that level of independence. And please, if there are any changes in ability or any unusual behaviour, this should be discussed immediately with staff as people with dementia can be more susceptible to developing delirium, which is a, a, an acute confusion. So here are some practical tips for going into hospital. Please take any relevant documentation with you because staff need to see that. For instance, power of attorney or guardianship documentation. Please also take the person's medication. Clothing both for day and night. Toiletries. And hearing aids or glasses with the person's name on them if possible. And maybe a small clock and or calendar so the person knows the date and time. If there is anything else you would like to discuss, always ask to speak to the nurse in charge. The transitions that people with dementia experience should be kept to a minimum. So what we don't want is someone moving multiple times to different beds or different wards. And discharge planning should actually start at the beginning of the admission and include both the person and your own views. Should you wish any more information about being in hospital, Alzheimer's Scotland have a leaflet you can access on their website called Coming Into Hospital, Five Key Things. You can also call their 24-hour free phone dementia helpline on 0808 808 808 3000. Thank you. I hope you found this information helpful. <laughs>